you are welcome to the next section. Link to the previous section will be up here and also in the description below. Let's go ahead to create this function. Now from the first argument, which is the result, we want to destructure the ID and also the email. And we add a second object, which is the response. Remember, the ID that we want is the one generated by MongoDB, and this is how it looks like. Now we want to create a variable to store the URL that we'll be using in the email. If the application has been hosted, we will use that here, otherwise we make use of localhost. Now for our unique string, we make use of the user record ID which came from the database and combine it with the UUID package value. Now at this point, we set our mail options. The first property will be from and we'll set this to our email which is in the .env file. The next one will be to and we'll set it to the email of the user which we are receiving here. Now for the subject, we'll set it to verify your email. Now we'll add an HTML property. Here we are making use of the back text. Now we want to make a spas in six hours bold. Now for the link, we will make use of the A tag and set the href property to a combination of the URL, the ID and the unit string. Now the user forward slash verify is a route that we'll create later on. Now before we send the email, we want to hash the unit string and store it in the user verification collection. So we'll make use of bcrypt here. First, we'll create a sort rounds value. The sort rounds will make it harder to crack the hash to see the actual value. I 
I always like to handle the error first so that I don't forget. When there is an error, you want to return a JSON object. So let me copy the one here and make some changes. For the hash part, we supply the unique string and the sort rounds. Now inside the den, we receive the hashed unique string. Now once we have the hashed unique string, we want to create a new user verification record. So over here, we are making use of the user verification model that we created. The first property will be the user ID. And that will point to the ID that we have here. The next one will be the unique string. And we'll use the hashed one. Now for the created at, we'll make use of the current date. So we'll call date.now. For the expire set, we want to add 6 hours as we stated in the message. And 6 hours in milliseconds is 21 million 600,000. So we'll do that. Once we have this, we can go ahead to save it. Once again, we handle the catch first. Now at this point, we've been able to save the user verification record. Now we send the email using the transporter. We'll pass the mail options. Now at this point, the email has been sent and also the verification record has been saved. Now for the status, because we are not done with the process, we will make it pending. And that's all for this section. We proceed in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe for more to the point code.